Hi, greetings everybody and welcome to another edition of Jamie's Journeys. And today we are in all the way Eastern Russia and we are in Petropavlovsk. And uh, that is situated uh, down the peninsula of the Kamchatka Peninsula in uh, the secluded Avancha Bay. Just outside the bay, east of the bay, <coughs> is the Bering Sea. If you were to go all the way across the peninsula, you would be in the Okhotsk Sea. That's a difficult one to say. But uh, we're going to take you around uh, the town a little bit, show you some of the sights to see if we can actually meet anybody who might speak a little English who would be willing to talk to us. So anyway, let's go see what we can see and meet who we can meet. Glad you're coming with us. All right, well, we've been instructed to uh, go four stops to the left uh, on the local bus. And uh, as we're about to depart the bus, I'm seeing we paid when we got on the bus. But the way you actually do it is you pay when you get off the bus. So we know for next time. Come on. Спасибо. We're just going to kind of walk around and uh, visit the market, but uh, what I find immediately what impresses me, I've been to St. Petersburg, formerly known as Leningrad, uh, many, many times, but a lot in the 80s when it was still communist. But uh, now you go to St. Petersburg and it's completely different feel. It's truly a European feel there. But here, as I walk around immediately, I'm reminded of the days in the mid-1980s when it was communist Russia. It's really, it's like, almost like stepping back in time. Not a He was a darling man, he just smiled at him, he stopped, and he offered us a, a taste of the rose hips, and that was I like a the great lady. encounter. I like the You speak English? English, no? English, English. You speak English? Deutsch, Deutsch. Deutsch, Deutsch. Deutsch, Deutsch. Deutsch. Chine, Chine, Vietnam. Yes. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Americana, Vietnam. 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 Really? Yeah. Huh? Uh, Ivan, 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 Ruski Ivan, Ruski Ivan Repos. You know Ivan Repos. How was Fritz? How was Fritz? Who was Ivan? Was Fritz? Fritz. How was Fritz? Ivan. Yeah, very good. Very good. Oh yeah. Did you get schnapps? Did you schnapps? Schnapps? No, no, no. You don't want to go have a schnapps? Have a schnapps? Oh, I'm with the same. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. That's fantastic. Wow. Very cute. That's so sharp, huh? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, when I look at the buildings and uh, yeah, actually a lot of the man, the market, it does bring me back in time, as I said, but when I see the ladies and how nicely they're attired, beautiful, beautiful women here. The modern day uh, Russian woman, really nice. So we've seen some imitations. This is the real deal. I think the sale absolutely stunning. Beautiful. She asked if it was Greenpeace. I said, no, no. I was just saying how beautiful these are. It's so nicely made. Wonderful. Back in the market, there's really some, some great fashions. My wife has been all over the boots, just wonderful boots, especially very fashionable. Fantastic. Right. She gave me the best one too. She didn't give me the 700. She gave me the 900. Thank you. I have to say, I have never in all my travels seen vats or buckets of caviar like this. This is really neat. Hey, there's our friend. There's our friend again. Caviar, very friendly. Hello. Oh, I get more. Oh my god, we'll spend the whole day here. Wow, that's it. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I want to get more. My goodness. My salt level is going to go away. I should see how many spoons I can collect. That's <laughs> fine. Mm. Angela. Angela. Nice to meet you, Angela. Very good. <laughs> and that's your name? Oh, Tatiana. Very Russian. 
Very Russian name, Tatiana, beautiful. <laughs> I like yours. Very great. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, uh -huh. it looks nice on you, though. Oh, yeah, it's very nice on you. It does. That's very good. It's not the color I choose, but I think she looks lovely in it. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of matches the gloves and your hair. It's, yeah, it matches. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm Jamie. Raisa. Raisa, oh. Raisa. Raisa, beautiful Russian name, yeah? <laughs> Go on, oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. All right, we've uh, actually uh, left that mark, and that was the market, and that was great fun. Uh, very colorful, friendly, friendly people. Uh, so we've jumped on the bus, and uh, which bus? Well, they said jump on any bus. It doesn't matter. Actually. The buses just run two directions. In order to get into the city, in fact, it is on the Siberian Peninsula. Uh, there's actually no roads into the peninsula. Uh, you actually have to fly in to get here or come by boat, as we did. Anyway, uh, I found it interesting being on that bus. Again, you don't pay when you get on, you pay when you get off. And uh, there's no checks and balances. You don't get a ticket for coming on and off, but just leave the money on the table and the bus driver takes it and that's it. Anyway, uh, we've made our way up to a nice little lookout so you can uh, get a view of Avacha Bay. Avacha Bay is the uh, bay that we sailed into off the Bering Sea. It's actually surrounded by volcanoes and when we came in this morning uh, it was actually quite foggy. But now we got a, a sight of one of them uh, we're going to show you and hopefully we can get a sight of one or more uh, from the ship but just a dramatic uh, view in the distance. It's snow covered. This bay was actually discovered by Vitus Bering. He was a Danish explorer and he sailed into here in, uh, I believe it was uh, 1740. He named the city Petropavlovska after the name of the two boats uh, that he took on his journey with him. Petro means Peter, Pavlovska means Paul, so it's Petro Pavlovska. Peter Paul is the name of the city. And he had those uh, boats built over in Russia on the mainland in the city of Akhtost. But anyway, we'll give you a nice view of the Avacha Bay. <laughs> Alright, well, we're just on our way to the Lenin Square where we're going to finish up our shot for the day, but uh, uh, we're at the Peter Paul statue, and as I said, Petra Pavlovska meant Peter Paul, also named after the boats uh, that uh, Bering uh, navigated to get here. 
uh, which is actually called St. Peter and St. Paul. Now this is a place where people come on the day of their marriage and we've got uh, a lovely newly married couple here now. And what they do is they come over to the uh, waters front and you can see that there are locks and it's tradition they come and they put a lock uh, on the gate there. So we're going to go take a look. All right, so as you look down, all locks of different shapes, different sizes, a lot of them have the name of the couple and even the date. Now, uh, I don't know, some of them are very big lock. I, I don't know if the level of commitment is measured in the size of the lock or not. But anyway, it's a, it's a neat tradition and the view from the sea to the statue to the gate across the lake and to the volcano is simply breathtaking. <laughs> Нет, по морям, по волнам, нынче здесь, завтра там, по морям, 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 эх, нынче здесь, а завтра там, по морям, по волнам, нынче здесь, завтра там, по морям, 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 эх, нынче здесь, а завтра там. Я моряк с акулами знаком, Я с пеленок вырос моряком. О, у меня дорога широка. Вот какой характер моряка По морям, по волнам, нынче здесь, завтра там. По морям, 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 морям. Finished our little journey for today. We wanted to come to Lenin Square, so we backtracked, just again, jumped on any bus, and it got us here. And now we're just a short walk uh, back to the dock. Anyway, uh, it was a lovely day out. The fog's lifted, and it's been great fun. So thanks for joining us on Jamie's journey here in Petropavlovska, Russia, and uh, hope to travel with you again. <laughs> Завтра. Mm -hmm.